episode that so many have been waiting for. We are going to make the mother of all desserts, my favorite dessert in the world, the one thing that I would eat if you said the world imploded tomorrow. This is what I would want to eat before the world implodes. And do you know what it all is? What is it? What is it? Kunafe. Kunafe! Woo woo! I'm so excited and I'm here with my mom. We're here to celebrate with a big kanafa party and you're going to be a part of it right here, right now on Feast in the Middle East. Okay, so what is kanafa? Kanafa is basically a layer of phyllo dough, buttery phyllo dough. This is called kataifi and it's shredded. This is how you purchase it from the market, so it makes it really easy. And it's got buttery, buttery layers of phyllo, right? And on the bottom is a sweet cheese. Now the sweet cheese is also known as akawi cheese, but this is like a sweet cheese that I bought from the supermarket. You could also use Mexican style queso fresco, but if you do, you should soak it overnight. Uh, to leach out all the salt because the important thing is you want the cheese to have no salt in it. So that's what we got. We got a pound and a half of cheese, one package of the kataifi dough, and we're going to make a sugar syrup to go with it. Now, mom, yeah. let's talk about the sugar syrup. The sugar syrup, we're gonna start first with the sugar syrup because it needs to be cool. Okay? Right. Not room temperature, not cold, cold, but you don't want it out of the refrigerator, but you want it room temperature. Right. So I have two cups of sugar, organic sugar here. Okay. And we have one cup of water that we're gonna cook over medium heat, uh, right. keep stirring so it doesn't get burned at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Keep stirring, Blanche. And once it's dissolved, you know, just, um, we're gonna add some, a few drops of lemon juice because what the lemon juice does is stops it from being crystallized. Right. So we're gonna do that. And uh, if you want, this is optional, you could add orange blossom water yeah. or rose flower water. That's totally a matter of preference. Yes. We personally don't like the orange blossom and rose in it, but some people love it. So if you want some, yeah. by all means, pour it in your sugar. I know, syrup. your father likes it, but the children don't. So yeah, we, we cannot like omit it. it. So we're just gonna let it boil okay. and then simmer, right? While this cooking, let's start with the with the shredded dough, okay? okay. So this there's two kinds of dough, of course. There's the shredded dough, this one. So this, you buy it from the market like that. This is a pound and you don't need to defrost it. I don't defrost it, but this time it has been sitting outside and it's defrosting. So I'm gonna cut it like this into like small segments, okay? I'm waiting for this to boil. It's starting to boil, as you see. And uh, once it starts boiling, I'm gonna add a few droplets of lemon juice, the lemon juice, a few droplets. Don't add that whole thing. Add more, a little bit more. That's it. Let it simmer for like a couple of minutes here while we work on the knaf, okay? Okay. We've got the so cheese. So we've got the cheese, and the cheese it has to be really dry. Yeah. I'm just gonna cut it up, you know, put it in the food processor. Cutting it up at first makes it better. Now, there are so many variations of what you could use for the cheese. Some people actually add mascarpone, some people add ricotta, ricotta. some people put mozzarella, well, I mean, we found that you if could, you use this kind of cheese, you can't go wrong. Yeah. Um, if you want more stretch factor, the mozzarella is good, but the problem with that is it can turn rubbery. Rubbery. You have to eat it right away. If you yeah. have leftovers, don't even bother eating it the next day. A lot day. of people, they like the ricotta with it. So ricotta gives it like, like a creamy flavor. Half the, like three quarter this and maybe one quarter ricotta. Yeah. Whatever. You, you could uh, experiment with the cheese as you make it every time you kind of develop your own preference. We're just keeping it simple yeah. for people who have never made this before. I think that's Stick with one kind. Stick with one time. I don't know All if right. it's going to shrink. Yeah, well, well. So here we go. I'm going to do it. I'm going to pulse it till it gets to sort of cottage cheese consistency. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. So you want it to have this kind of consistency. Yeah. See, it's, okay. it looks like cottage cheese, basically. Yeah. 
Okay, right. now this is done. It's been boiling for a few minutes and it's mm -hmm. done. We're gonna put it on the side and let it cool, okay? Okay. Now, we go to the pan. Now, whatever pan you have, it's, uh, it's nice if it has, this one, if it has a little lip because you don't want the syrup to kinda, you know, pour over when you use it. Right. And uh, we're gonna first kinda toast the, um, the, uh, the, the dough, the filo dough. So this okay. is a cup and a half of ghee that we're using. You can use butter, but we are using ghee. And this is literally a cup and a half. Uh, we use some really good quality ghee. Okay. okay, so now, and I'm gonna use this coloring that they sell in all the Middle Eastern supermarkets. It's, uh, it's orange and it is an artificial coloring and some people might not use it. it but I personally think that kanafa looks anemic without it and okay. it adds a festive color. Just a little bit, just to Look touch. Look how little Look, we use. How little. A little bit goes a long way. I don't use too much of it, but that's it. It's that's, very powerful. If you want more, you could use more, but I feel like I got bit. Ziad brand. I could put the link in the description box okay. if you guys want to know. Ziad sells this. It's one on. of my favorite uh, brands of Middle okay. Eastern food. And we so. want to kind of incorporate the coloring. Okay, now what I'm doing is I'm shredding it by hand. Some people like to use the processor and then it becomes like finer. I like to use my hand and I like the thick, a little bit like shredded like that. I like that. You make sure you incorporate all the butter. So we're just gonna keep adding until every single bit of this dough is incorporated with the, uh, with the ghee, otherwise known as samna. And I'm gonna keep uh, toasting it until you get that sound. When you go like this, it goes <laughs> Should be know. crunchy, a crunchy yeah. sound. Yeah, because that means that it has reached the level of toastiness that you want. I'm gonna start with the, with the cheese. Okay. But what we do is we're gonna layer it. We have, we're gonna have, I have a pan here waiting here. So I'm gonna use the bottom layer, the, the top layer, which is now the bottom layer, because okay. as I invert it in another pan, it's gonna be the top layer. Right. So I'm gonna kinda work with my hands like that. Mm -hmm. See, and kinda, you need to work it evenly into an even layer. And the top layer should always be thicker than the bottom layer. It's important to, to go down like that and press it down so that you could spread the cheese and it won't move around. Right. Okay. And when you invert it, it'll it'll come out in one piece. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so now let's put the cheese. Okay. And uh, wait, I'm not gonna put it all one time on some lump. I'm gonna just spread it like this. Like, make sure it doesn't get to the edge. We don't want it to get to the edge because if it gets to the edge, when it spreads, it's gonna touch the lip and it's gonna stick. Oh, and then you can't invert it because yeah. it'll be stuck. Exactly, so stay away as much as you can from the, like a little bit, stay So you away. would treat it like you would cheese on a pizza, right? You wouldn't put cheese on the crust part. Exactly. Treat it the same way. The middle always ends up with more cheese than the edges. Yeah, and people fight over it. And people fight <laughs> over it. Blanche goes for the kill. <laughs> <laughs> Hear me out, my, my Arab friends, okay? When your parents make kanafa, are you the one lurking at the stove trying to take all the crispy bits from the outer edge of the pan? Like, you know, I tell my mom I'm gonna help her clean up the pan, and the first thing is you gotta clean up all the crispy bits. Yeah, and like, yeah, yeah. Eat it before you wash it. It's very important. So yeah. tell me, my friends. She scratched. Do you quite do the same thing? She has scratched quite a few of my pans, <laughs> <laughs> trying to get every little bit <laughs> bite from it. Blanche, what it's is this? It's like the my designer. My pan is screwed. It's the designer mark of Blanche on the pans. If you need your pans clean. After you eat kanafa, just give me a call. I'll be there. Okay. I'll help now, you out. Now we're gonna now we're gonna put the rest of it. You could make this with your eyes closed, Mom. Check you out. Well, I've done so many of them in my life. How many kanafas do you think you've made in your life? I don't know. I can't count. I the, know that every Thanksgiving, every Christmas, that's what people everybody wants. request. You know, 
We want Vera's knafe. The tough part is birthdays. We want birthday knafe. The candles don't stick. Yeah. So they just kind of fall over and, and then we get like, you know, knafe on fire. But it's okay, we still eat it. So you kind of have to work with, with it so you cover. It doesn't need to be covered as much as the bottom layer because mm -hmm. like I said, you know, you're gonna invert it. But try to be as even as possible. Yeah. See, we have worked systematically and press it down and try to be as clean as possible at the edges. Because when you invert it, you want it to be nice and even. Okay, so treat it like you do a lasagna or anything like that, 350 degree oven until the cheese melts. Depends on the oven, but I would say 25 to 30 minutes. 25 to 30 minutes. Okay. okay. 350 degrees. Turn it off, turn the thing off first and put it in the oven. All right. Okay, so. Look at that. Few minutes later. So here is a feast in the Middle East tip. In order to not let this burn or get too brown, what we're gonna do is put some foil, loosely cover halfway through baking, so it's been about 12 minutes, and we're gonna cook it about 12 minutes more. So now you're gonna invert it, or shall I do it? Well, I yeah, do you can do it, but I just don't want you to burn okay. yourself. So okay, just here. take these, please. Okay. Okay, one, one two. two, three. Whoa, be careful, don't burn yourself. There okay. we go. Let's see what happens. Here, I'll get this for you. Okay. Wow. And we're gonna pour the syrup once syrup. you do that. Now. Okay. I'm gonna let you do So the syrup has been the cooled honors. down, it's no longer hot. And it's room temperature. It's room, yeah, it's room temperature. So you start from the middle. Like this. And then you work your way up. Just swirl it. Yeah, swirl it up. Just like they do with the pizza when they put the pizza, they start from the middle, then they go yeah, out and out. So this way you don't miss any parts. Ooh, that looks so good. See, the orange makes it, guys. Can you imagine if this thing was just white? It would be so boring. Go ahead now. All right, now we're gonna sprinkle the, sprinkle pistachios. the pistachios. Isn't it pretty, guys? I mean, come on. Wow. I love the beauty of the pistachio with now, the orange. pistachios, you add as much as you want. You want a little, you want a lot. It's yeah, some people go crazy. I personally like just a little dusting of it. You know? right. Ta-da! Ta-da! Ta voila! Now it's time for the slicing, the money shot. Let's see how big slice of heaven right here. There you go. Great stretch. It is stretching, see? There we go. There you go. Wow. See? Look. It looks amazing. Stretching. Okay. You, you start with the first one. You All right. know how it tastes like. No, no, you go yeah. ahead. You go ahead. She always has to feed me first. No, you go first, yeah. Mom. It's okay. Mmm. Melts in your mouth. Mmm. Melts you know? in your mouth. This, this ghee, mm. make it taste like back home style. Mm -hmm. mm. 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 This is, um, it's like taking a trip to the Holy Land without having to go to the Holy yes, Land. Yes, yes indeed. Like so, it, it broke. oh my God. Mm. If you, uh, Want to take a trip mm. to the Holy Land? I suggest the first thing you do get is kanafa, absolutely. Mm. But if you don't, oh. if you don't, you can just you know you can get my cookbook. You can make. I, got, I even got a nice picture of it. You want to see my picture of kanafa in my book, Mom? Yeah. Right here. We made it all artsy. You see Ooh. that? Isn't that pretty? It's the prettiest dessert. It's the most delicious dessert. You know how to make it. Get the ingredients. If you want the cookbook, go to feastinthemiddleeast.com. Wow, this is so good. And if let I me know in the headache, comments it'll below. Be worth it. Oh, I want to know if have any of you put in the comments below. Have you ever had kanafa before? If mm. so, tell me where you had the best. I don't care mm. what state, what city, mm. what what country. I want to know because mm. I'm going to seek it. If you have one that you recommend, otherwise we're gonna just keep making our own. Yeah, I mean, mm. how is it? I mean. 
It's buttery, it's sweet, it's gooey. It's amazing. It's everything a dessert should be, folks. Yeah. Thank you for joining us on this epic Thank anniversary you. knafa party here on the channel. Yes. And we will be back with more recipes. Please, to lift the algorithm up, hit like so that we can uh, know that you actually got this video. All Thank right? you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Bye. You. Bye. Enjoy. I wish you were here. That's so cruel of us. I know. We're mean. Mm -hmm. mean. I, I want to share it with everybody. I know. What can I do? I feel guilty. Not. Oh, no. Um. <laughs> mm. <laughs>